Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. We have bad or good news, depends for whom. But the new volcanic eruption started on Reykjanes Peninsula and this is how the volcano looks right now. It started 15 minutes ago next to Storas Kokfetl mountain which is visible here to the left side. It's rather close to Blue Lagoon Road, Grindavik Road as before. And if there is a powerful flow of uh, lava, it may reach the road within rather short time. But right now it doesn't look that impressive. The fish is not yet big, but it may expand as it did before in the old days during the previous eruption. So for now, we don't know how much lava is coming out. But. Uh, the eruption is ongoing and the fish is expanding. Right now we know it's next to Storoskog Fat Mountain. Very close to the same location where it started the last time. And as you know, on 22nd of August, fish expanded further north and then the activity continued uh, in the northern part of the fish I would expect similar scenario now. Uh, we will see where the fish will expand and where the activity will eventually concentrate on. But for now, it's almost in the same location as last time, next to Stora Skokfet Mountain. Even somewhat further north, because last time it was uh, a bit further south, I think, or more or less the same area. Along Sunuka Gigar. Crater, no, crater, as you know before, the same, um, the same line where we had all the eruptions earlier. So nothing new here. This is how the volcano looks from Thorpiot uh, live cam. The camera didn't manage to capture the eruption when it started, as it was uh, fixed on Grindavik, and when it started, then they moved the camera to the left side when it was already erupting and we didn't expect the eruption uh, now like I w was expecting it later in December the same the morning newspaper reported just uh, a day before that the eruption is unlikely in November but here you go so nobody knows for sure mm. I was driving to um, the volcano yesterday, I was there with tourists actually yesterday, and I was with the Grindavik yesterday. And they, I saw they were working to raise the walls north of Grindavik. So the fortifications are solid, also around the lagoon, so I don't think there is threat to the town right now, the way it looks. And it's all, for now it's in a good location, it's rather, full, rather in a good distance from Grindavik to the north, so uh, I would expect a similar development development as uh, last time. We will see, although that's, this is how Vulcan looks uh, right now, uh, for what, a little bit further, this is the current situation right now. Uh, so the fish you expanded a little bit. To the south. It's very hard to say what is going to happen. We will wait a few hours and see whether the fish expands. But it looks to be expanding. It looks to be growing as you see. It grew here to the right side to the south. And lava is flowing towards Storas Kokfet as you see. To the, to the west towards the road. They fixed the road, they made asphalt, it made, they made it really nice, so Blue Lagoon probably will be closed um, tomorrow. And it looks like the lava might reach the road. It's from now, it looks like the only threat is the road. But we don't know how far it will go west. It might go even further west, beyond the road. It all depends how much lava is coming. Let's take a look on the map and see where it's happening. Here you see Grindavik and this is the Storas Kokfat. Right here. 
next to this man and where there was this ancient fissure. Uh, so, road 43 is the closest to that location. And while I was going, I saw to the towards the road. So, the same story all over again and again. Yeah, so hopefully, it will be the last eruption because. If I was the Green Devic resident, I would be really tired of this. It's real, real terrorist volcano. Yeah, so this is Taurus Conquest eruption is ongoing here right now. And of course it may expand, hopefully further north, the fish you not to the south. But Green Devic is significantly far away, even if it expands further south. What is unlikely, considering the previous developments, but we will see. But it's next to Storos Kokfet right here. Yeah, in the middle of Reykjanes Peninsula. Those are the latest news. Here you see, uh, they say that the crack is expanding, the fissure is expanding in the northeasterly direction like the last time the same scenario the same developments though they say here that the eruption took place south east of Silingar, fat slightly further south than i told earlier but it's expanding towards Toros kokvet the mountain i showed you on the map so it's the eruption took place exactly in the same location as last time more or less and the eruption seems to stretch in the northeasterly direction towards Torres Cockfet. this is what Benedict Gunnar Ofixon head of the formation measurements at the Icelandic Met Office says the deformation measured before the eruption was much smaller than before and the signals were generally weaker than in previous eruptions uh, geoscientists are now trying to better understand the location of the crack and it's still too early to say whether the eruption is more powerful than in previous eruptions and here you can see the map of the area yeah so now they are saying that the eruption took place close to ceiling of at southeast a bit further south, just slightly further south than I told you earlier. So there is Toros Kokfet here, and the eruption took place somewhere here. Well, it is in this area now. They're trying to locate the exact uh, site of the eruption, but it's between Toros Kokfet and Silingafet, like in the last time, as we had crater waking up there probably it's the same crater the same site as the last time that erupted and it's expanding exactly in the same direction as as last time so it's deja vu from 22nd of august the same scenario repeating the only thing we don't know is how much is the lava how much lava is coming but this is the map the notice of the eruption was incredibly short. They didn't know until 17 minutes before it started. Uh, now they started the evacuation of Green Davik Town and the Blue Lagoon. Uh, Ulver Ludwigson, police chief in Southerness, tells about this in an interview with the morning newspaper. He said that he had received a call from civil defense at 3 minutes to 11. Uh, with information from the Icelandic Met Office that the eruption would probably start in the next hour or hours and the eruption began 17 minutes later at 11.14 so this time the information notice beforehand, beforehand prior to the eruption started was only 17 minutes this is how the volcano looks for now before I go to sleep because it's very late now in Iceland it's quarter past midnight and 
I will keep you informed tomorrow with more updates. But the fish you does not look to be very big for now. One hour later, maybe one kilometer long. Uh, but we will see how it goes. Good night and God bless you all. Bless.